Today I'm going to be showing you all how to get the Xbox off in your new M1 MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. And this will allow you to talk to your friends, stream your Xbox to your Mac, or even go to the Microsoft Store and buy new games. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to a web browser and just type in iMazing. And I'll have a link to their website down below. And you can go ahead and click on the first link that comes up. And then go ahead and click on free download. And something may pop up asking if this website can store files on your device. You're just going to want to go ahead and click on allow. And once that's done downloading, you're just going to go ahead and click on the recent downloads in your browser. For me, Safari, I just go up to the top and look for downloads and click on that. And you can just go ahead and double click on this now. And it should bring this up here. And if you didn't see a downloads tab in your browser, just go ahead in your downloads folder, your documents folder, wherever you set your downloads location to, and just double click on the DMG file that was downloaded. So once you're on here, just go ahead and you're just going to click and drag this over to your applications folder. It should only take a second or two. And once that is complete, you can go ahead and now close this window and you can close out of your browser now because you no longer need it. And now you can go ahead down to your finder, go to applications, and look for iMazing, which you just installed now. So just go ahead and double click on that. Click on open. And once the app opens up here, you can just go ahead and click on continue trial because we don't need to buy this currently for what we're doing. Okay, and after clicking on continue trial, it's going to bring you to this page here. And it's basically just telling you to plug in your phone to your laptop. So you can go ahead and do that. Just grab a lightning cable, plug one end in your computer, and plug the other end in your phone. Once you do that, go ahead and make sure to unlock your phone so that you can trust this here. Now on your phone's home screen, you should say something that says trust this computer. You're just going to want to go ahead and click on trust and then put in your password. And once you do that, it should say pairing successful. And you can just go ahead and click on later. And once you're on this page here, you're just gonna wanna right click on your iPhone and then go down to manage apps. And now what you wanna do is make sure that you have library selected in the top and go down to add from app store. And here's where you'll type in the name of your app. And for this tutorial, we're going to be installing the Xbox app. Just go ahead and type in Xbox. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different options here, but we're going to be installing the top one since this is the official one. And now you can go ahead and click on this cloud with the arrow pointing out of it. And we'll go ahead and download it to your Mac. Okay, now that it's downloaded, you can go ahead and click on Done down here. And now you can type Xbox into this bottom search bar here. And as you can see, it is downloaded to your library now. So now, once again, just go ahead and right-click on this. And here's where you want to click on Export IPA. And you can save that to wherever you want on your computer. I'm going to go ahead and save that to my Downloads folder so that it's easy to find. And once in that folder, just go ahead and double click on the IPA file that was just exported. And it shouldn't take too long to create the app. And once it does, it's just going to ask you if you want to move the IPA file to the trash. Since you don't need it anymore, you can go ahead and do that. And as you can see, the Xbox app is now installed on your laptop. So you can just go ahead and double click that to open it. And there you go, that's the full-fledged Xbox app here. You can go ahead and stream your console. You can talk to your friends. You can view your friends. You can buy games through the Microsoft Store. You can view your clips. And yeah, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I helped you all out.